breakfast time for the new additions to the tank. It's mostly just this big gold light and maroon clownfish, which they both are, but he's the new one, the big one, or I believe that's a she. Usually the big one is a she. This is new also, this coral frag. Got this little cleaner shrimp also, but it looks like he may have died in the middle of the night. Or I don't know if they shed their shells when they grow like like emerald crabs do. They may um, because when I shortly after I first got this one, he shed his shell. It was like laying down here and I thought it was, he was dead. And then I saw him hanging out under here and actually moving so I didn't realize that he had just shed his shell and that's all it was. So I guess when usually animals, when they shed their shell, they hide because they're vulnerable. Like uh, crabs and stuff. So I'm hoping but that is just where he shed his shell, but he may be, he may have died also. But that's part of the hobby, unfortunately. I don't see him hiding anywhere in the back. They can be pretty good at hiding low. Coral's looking good, which is surprising. Usually corals are more, are some of the most, um, sensitive things you can put in your tank and shrimps things like that are usually not not that sensitive but like I said it's breakfast time so let's get out some food I'm feeding some flakes today but they they're omnivores and they'll eat whatever they can get Sometimes brine shrimp, frozen brine shrimp, and they love it all because they are omnivores. Let's see how they take to it. So the little one, he already knows. He's already comfortable in this tank, and he knows as soon as he gets that food hits the water, he knows what time it is. Looks like the big one's figuring it out now. Maybe he's taking after, or she's taking after the little ones. Example. They get a little more active when the food starts falling from the top. Usually they will. And for size comparison, here's my thumb. See kind of how big these each one of these are. He's about two inches away from the glass, but that still can give you kind of a size comparison. He's pretty big for a clownfish or, or a she, I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure that's a she because these two were paired together in the uh, in the uh, pet store and they two clownfish paired together one will go big and one will stay small and usually the big one is the female 